What is the upcoming change in the Microsoft PL300 Microsoft Power BI Data Analyst exam? Hello. In the PL300 exam, you will be exhibiting your knowledge of being a Power BI Data Analyst with transforming the data, creating data models using DAX, visualizing the data and sharing assets using the Power BI service. Now, the exams change from time to time and the next change is on the 22nd of August. And if you have a look at the study guide, we can see all of the requirements for the PL300 exam. And there is just one addition in this latest update, and that is share reports and visuals in PowerPoint. Now you might think this is just exporting graphics from Power BI into PowerPoint, but there's actually a lot more than that. So first of all, we've got to log in to PowerPoint with a license which allows us to use Power BI Pro or Power BI in a premium capacity. So if you've got a different login, you need to log in to one of those licenses. You'll know if you have because in the insert of the latest PowerPoint menu, you will see Power BI. If you don't see this, then you are not logged in as the right person. So if I click on Power BI. This then inserts the object and it says, please add the URL from Power BI. So let's go to Power BI. And let's say we have got this report that we want to use in Power BI. So I'm going to go to export Power BI and I can embed an image or embed live data. If I click on embed live data, I've got the option to just open it in a fresh PowerPoint presentation, or I can copy this report page link and then go back into PowerPoint and then paste my link into there and click insert. Obviously you'll need to have the appropriate viewing rights for this report. And there is my report. Now, if I want a visual as opposed to an entire report, I can also click on the dot 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 next to the visual and go to share and either open in PowerPoint for a fresh presentation or link to this visual. And this allows me to click copy so I can copy the link and go into PowerPoint, insert a Power BI object, click insert. And here is our individual visual. Now you might be thinking, okay, this looks good, but isn't this just a graphic? Well, no, this is the full report or visual that I've pasted. So if I go back into this particular report, I can click on an item and you can see all of the other objects react to that. So you can see here, I have got road bikes selected. If I now go into my slideshow, You can see road bike still selected. I can click on something else as part of the presentation and I can filter as I see fit. So if I select ties and tubes, you'll also see that there are various options for showing or hiding filter pane, getting the latest data and more. So let's go on to the next slide and finish. And if I go back, you can see that we've reset where we were. So I previously, as part of the presentation, said tire and tubes. It's now gone back to road bikes. So once you go through a slideshow, it undoes all of your customizations. Now we can also use these options here, including data insights, which allows us to get intelligent insights about this data, and you can add them as static text to your slide. You can change the styling. You can clear the data and start again, and you can do other things, including deleting this visualization and showing it as a saved image. So then you can send your presentation to somebody who doesn't have a Power BI Pro or premium license. And then later you can always reactivate the visualization link. So there are a lot more features and detail in this Power BI to PowerPoint link, but basically get the URL, multiple ways of getting the URL. You can share it and here we've got PowerPoint. You can export it or you can just use the URL at the top and then you go into PowerPoint and you insert a new Power BI object and then paste your URL. 
So there's a lot more detail in this, and I go through this detail in my Power BI course. So if I go to my website, I do data.com, go to reporting software and PL300, you'll see that over 28 hours or so, I go through all of the requirements of the PL300 exam. The visualizations and analysis, get and transform data, including the M language, refining the model, including DAX functions and the Power BI service. And there are two videos on the Power BI to PowerPoint link that I've just shown you in this video. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. The next video that you can see is all about recreating the visualization pane in Power BI Desktop. So Microsoft took it away in April. How can you get it back? Have a look at the video and the end screen for details of how you can do this. If you like this video, then please click the like and why not subscribe and click that bell. That way you'll be notified of any new videos. I'm Philip Burton of idodata.com. Thanks for watching and keep learning.